Welcome to Rotary and Serving Our Community. My name is Wade Nomura, and we are going to take a look at part of the international scope of Rotary itself. We're going to take a trip to Korea and see what they have there in Rotary. And with us today, I have uh, two special guests, past district governors, both of them, Jane and Jack McClanahan. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Hi, Wade. <laughs> Great to be here. Yeah, thank you very much, and thanks for joining us. Uh, Jane, I'm going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, right now, I'm really completely retired from the money-making area. <laughs> and almost completely employed by Rotary. I do, um, I'm the club secretary right now, but also the bookkeeper. And um, that's club level at um, district level. I'm doing a lot of work right now getting incoming district governors ready at the Zone Institute. Oh, great. And um, that's taking a lot of my time right now. So but not quite the money-making venture you anticipated that would be. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of, a lot of, uh, of fun. A lot, we have really great people to work with, so it's not really like working. It's just time-consuming. Mm, very true. Yeah. <laughs> and Jack, how about you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I realized at our club meeting the other day when we were doing uh, anniversaries and so forth that my anniversary as a Rotarian came up and it's now uh, 38 years since 38 I joined the years? Rotary Club of Santa Paula oh, wow. back in 1978. So it's been a major part of our, our life mm -hmm. and uh, so forth. But I am still working uh, so <laughs> too in, in an office. And That's true. And you're actually also right now serving as president of your club too. So I am the second time. It's the second time we've, it's the first time we've had to uh, retread, uh, so to speak, an old president. Um, and uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, but uh, people are busy, they have complicated lives. True, true, yeah. very so true. So I decided to step in. And both of you are quite unique because you're the only uh, husband and wife team that's ever served as district governors for this district. In this district, right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, amazing, yeah. congratulations for that. Um, Jack, tell us how you got involved <coughs> with Rotary. Well, I, uh, I, it was through doing PR work. I was working for Thomas Aquinas College um, it was in a new location up in uh, what had been a horse pasture outside of Santa Paula. The, some of the war regents uh, suggest that we have the founder of the college go around and speak to Rotary Clubs to build some awareness. And so the first one I did was the Rotary Club of Santa Paula. The, uh, the president of the club, uh, Al Guilene, who's still a member, uh, said, have you ever been to a Rotary Club meeting? And I said, no, I hadn't. He said, well, you know, come down and see what it's like, and at the end of the meeting, he said, how'd you like the meeting? I said, I thought it was great. I thought it was a lot of fun. And a month later, I was a member of the Rotary Club of Santa Paula. So that was how that was. That fast. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And how about you, Jane? I was one of the first women invited into Rotary right as soon as they said that women could come in. They had me picked out right away. Wow, that's great. <laughs> and uh, have been in the club that long and um, have worked hard and had a lot of fun. So you're both in the same club, right? Ohio West. Now we yes. are. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. back then he, you were not. No, we, I've been in the same club all along. But he, when I became club president, if he knew it was good for him, he would transfer into our club, and he did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit of prompting there. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about Rotary in general, and what the interest or the connection is with you going to these international countries. Um, specifically, not just Korea, but you've been around to quite a few different areas. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, we've traveled to a number of the conventions, including uh, traveling with you and Roxanne <laughs> right. to uh, England and New Orleans and Montreal and so forth. Yeah. And um, it's it was when I was secretary of Rotary Club of Ojai, the other, uh, the older uh, Ojai Rotary Club, uh, that I was uh, through a series of coincidences was asked to uh, represent the club at the International Convention in Munich in uh, 1987. And so uh, that kind of got us hooked on the idea of going to conventions. And so we don't go every year, but we've been to 15. Wow, that's as, great. have added up. And they're all tremendous. If you want a sense of the internationality of Rotary and meeting people from all over the world, and I've always loved all the, uh, the cultural aspects of uh, Rotary. Yeah, there's something different in Rotary for everybody, and Very I like that part. Very true. This trip that we're going to be uh, traveling with you on right now through Korea, how long was that trip actually, and how did that fit with an RI con international yeah. convention? Well, it ended up being uh, 30 days in Korea, 35 days almost. We, um, it started just that we were planning to go to the convention in Seoul, uh, definitely, because our district, as you know, for 20 years now has had a sister district relationship with District 3720 in the southern part of South Korea. And we've done projects together 
um, as illustrated by the, uh, this project that Jane would probably talk about uh, with these wheelchair taxis for uh, severely disabled uh, children. Do you want to talk about that? Well, we um, can, let's, let's yeah. jump into the pictures here. I think yeah, you have yeah. one in there, don't yeah, you? There that's right. There's yeah, there is one. There's a picture. Yeah. Well, let's, yeah. let's jump on into it then. So this, the this is kind of a wonderful story because it just started out with the district governor in Korea. We were, um, we call them sister districts. And, um, and we met up and we wanted to do something. And he had a passion for children that are disabled and wanted to make their lives easier. So we went to an institution. And then the institution was beautiful and they had everything a kid could want. But the problem is that they were um, tied to a wheelchair mm -hmm. and they were like being in prison. They could never ever leave. And so we sat and talked about it. We went over to Hyundai and asked them if they could design a vehicle that we could put these wheelchairs in. And they could, they did. And, um, and so then we were able to let these children and a caretaker go to the temple or go to the park or go to a museum where before they never were able to, or go home. They could go to their house. They couldn't leave before. So um, we did three of them through a world grant. And then five years later, we went back and we went to where this picture was taken and they had this wheelchair taxi gear. And the community, it was so successful that they have 37 wheelchair taxis wow, now. that's great. So yeah. it's it's a wonderful story. <laughs> <Right>. yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. in the city of Kim Hay, but it has about half a million people. Good. So there was, a, there was a need yeah, that hadn't been so. met. Thank you. So it's really great. So we'll continue on um, yep. through the slide presentation then. Yeah. Well, we, um, what happened was that we uh, were headed for the convention. We knew we were going to go there. Uh, but it occurred to me and my uh, uh, brother, uh, district governor from 2013-14, that we could use his hotel uh, as our base for a pre-convention tour for our district. And so we had 41 people participating in that. Uh, but then in addition to that, uh, Jane and I went over two week weeks earlier than that in order to do some work for Ojai Valley School, because Ojai Valley School has uh, a lot of international students from many different countries, and including uh, maybe 250 Korean alumni. And so we went over and we did some social events. And so um, the, the, uh, there's a, a slide there of a downtown scene, mm -hmm. and that's in the, uh, the well-known district of Gangnam, like in Gangnam style, <laughs> uh, that okay. Sai uh, wraps. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see what a modern, uh, 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 up-to-date, prosperous uh, kind of city it is. Um, there's a second slide there that's actually on the other side of the river because uh, Seoul, like uh, Los Angeles, has several high-rise uh, downtown business districts. Uh, and um, uh, some are very modern. Some have the traditional old crowded markets and the kind of thing that you expect to see in, uh, in Asia. And so, um, uh, and then there's the, uh, a slide that has directly to do with Ojai Valley School, which is a picture there at the Jogyesa Temple uh, with the flags and the banners because this was the week of Buddha's birthday. Mm. And so they were preparing for that. And so Jane is in the picture there with Shelley Hermes, whose uh, father was a longtime president of Ojai Valley School. And so she uh, helped us, and she lives over there now in Seoul. Okay. So she helped us organize uh, our event. So we did some sightseeing with her as well as preparing for our events and, uh, and got to know uh, Seoul better. The, uh, there's a picture there of um, some uh, inflated uh, panda bears. <laughs> right. And uh, that's outside the uh, art museum there where they were doing a uh, an exhibit on, what was that? What's the name of that? DreamWorks. Shrek. Shrek. Yeah, it had included oh, Shrek, Shrek and all the oh, DreamWorks okay. characters and so forth. And then uh, the next picture, I think, in the order is, a, uh, is us uh, out on one of the, so the streets of Seoul where there's a banner uh, advertising the Rotary Convention. And so it has the convention logo. And so that was uh, you know, our ultimate uh, purpose when we got past these others. Uh, if you notice on that picture, just to the edge, there's a wall. Behind the wall is one of the several uh, royal palaces, oh. historical royal palaces that are in Seoul. It's a wonderful place to visit, by the way, Seoul. Yeah. 
And so you see the guards in their traditional costumes, um, and they do a, a changing of the guard. And so it includes those in the soldier costumes and then also those who are dressed as the court uh, musicians. And they play those uh, unusual historical instruments and it's quite a scene and quite a, quite a sound. And a lot of vivid colors I see in both these pretty, pictures. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, and then there's a, a picture of, uh, that looks like, well, it's outdoors and it's a, kind of an outdoor scene. That is uh, one of the two larger palaces and this is the one that's really kind of a compound. It's a large enclosed area with many, many uh, buildings and a kind of garden setting. And that's the Queen's Palace. Okay. And it's where the Queen lived with all of her retainers and servants and musicians and cooks and so forth. And so, um, so we went through there and in a place like that, the next slide has, a, uh, has the guide mm -hmm. who led us through. You need a guide. <laughs> and so they were very helpful. You need a guide to explain things like the, uh, the immediately following picture, which has this beautiful uh, building within the complex and it has these odd figures on the top. And so you want to know what those are. Now the, so guide the guide spoke, spoke English, I presume. Oh, very well. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, she had a, a, a good sense of humor in English too. Yeah, so, good. yeah, yeah. So that we it, we really got to know the city. It's um, uh, one of the places that we enjoyed going back to was right in Central Seoul, where and this is for people who are uh, following the development of the Los Angeles River in L.A. Um, the right in the center of downtown. Yeah they have a stream that was once completely paved over. And uh, at some point they decided to restore that. And so they dug it out, hauled off the pavement, and created uh, uh, and let the water flow again, oh. and uh, created a kind of uh, a little bit of uh, uh, nature right in the, in the city. And so, so that's the picture here, then it yeah. shows with the water actually flowing. So. That's right. Beautiful yeah, landscape. That's right. I like to see that, yeah. And at night, because uh, this was, this, again, this it was Buddha's birthday. birthday week, and one of the okay. events was what they call the, the Lotus Lantern Festival. And so next there's a picture of uh, some of the, uh, these, these are life-size uh, kind of <laughs> sculptures, but oh, they are okay. lanterns. Oh. Oh. And they're so they're made with a metal frame uh, covered with the decorated paper, and uh, these sort of look like they're actually floating on the river, but they're on platforms in the, uh, okay. in the river. So you walk up and down the river. It's the way that they put. use that, uh, that downtown uh, uh, section. So we were there in Seoul for about uh, two weeks, and then we moved on uh, farther south in uh, Korea to a place called Gyeongju, which is a World Heritage Site, or it it's, has several World Heritage Sites. And uh, so we spent a few days there, uh, and that was kind of uh, partly re relaxation and and R&R &R for us before we went into our, uh, our tour with our, uh, our tour group. Yeah. You know, I think something Jane would like to talk about, there's a photo there of, the, uh, of some kids on a, on a carnival ride. Did we pass that? Up here, that's mm -hmm. in the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <clears throat> the, um, this, this was really kind of fun. It was at a park, it was a carnival type park and we could see it from our hotel room. We could look down and so we decided, what's well, kind of Disneyland looking at? Let's go over there. And um, it was a school day and they brought all the children there and little, they're all little and they're all <laughs> dressed in their uniforms and um, they had their little backpacks. If you, the one picture here, you can see all the backpacks just set up on the picnic tables. Oh, yeah. right. And yeah. and um, and then the kids then were all lined up, and they go in little lines with one teacher in front and one teacher in back. And then, because of their age, that every now and then they would be distracted maybe by something over here, and the little kids would start <laughs> moving off of going over this way as one teacher is taken off that way. But they had they had um, these wonderful little carnival rides, and and the kids were so happy. It was just really fun, and it was so safe. It was just um, just a wonderful, wonderful experience mm -hmm. being there and um, uh, and and watching this whole whole. Thing yeah. happen. It was it's great. generally true from in our experience in South Korea, it's a very safe country. In spite of the scary news about the North and the threats right. and so forth, uh, it, it actually on the, on the streets, the subway 
and so forth. There's very little crime at all. If there is, if anything occurs, it gets right in the front pages mm -hmm. because it's so uh, unusual. And, uh, and like those, uh, the backpacks for the kids at the park there, uh, they, just, they there. just set them all out and so forth with no concern that they're gonna be bothered by, by anybody. It happens in the coffee shop too, when because I'm a coffee monster. <laughs> you could sit down and you'd have your um, sweet roll in your coffee and you see the teenage and the college kids there and they sit there and they're talking, enjoying themselves and they just get up and they leave. 45 minutes later, they come back. But when they left, their wallet is sitting there, <laughs> the laptop is sitting there, the phone is over here, this whole place is sit just like this. And, yeah. and nobody will disturb it. Wow. Yeah, it's a very yeah, orderly it very, country. Very, very, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, that's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> that is. So that was kind of our little uh, vacation in the middle of our, our trip. <laughs> okay. Uh, because at this Bowman Lake, very beautiful um, uh, place near the uh, historic center. So then we went down, and I think the next picture is down at the uh, Kyungnam um, Visitors Bureau. And it's out in front of a oh, souvenir yeah. shop. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are our hosts. Okay. Um, uh, our, our pa my past district governor uh, pal, uh, Yoon Young Ho, the owner of the hotel, and he also happens to be the chairman of the Tourism Association. And so they arranged uh, now this, uh, all the tour activities for our group, beginning with uh, next picture, a tour there of Chang Wan. Mm -hmm. And even though, uh, you know, so we have two fl uh, rose garden pictures. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Changwon is an industrial city, an important industrial city, the sixth largest in Korea. But nonetheless, it has beautiful gardens, there's beautiful landscaping, even some of the industrial park area is landscaped. And again, lots and lots of children out on... <laughs> All lined uh, up in their little yeah, uniforms. Everywhere. Yeah, all in uniform too. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Korea is known for its industrialization and uh, the, its auto industry, its uh, shipbuilding industry and so forth. But um, they are trying to diversify and really develop Korean tourism. And so this uh, being uh, with our group and with the Tourism Association, you could see that all the different provinces of Korea uh, are identifying the places of interest that are in their area and developing tourist facilities so that it's a nice place to visit and easy to navigate. So the first uh, of those after the flower pictures is a, uh, you can see some of our group walking uphill uh, near the ocean. Mm. And um, so that is uh, a, a marine park and that's what that's all about. And there's lots of things to see there, but I can't go into all of them. <laughs> the next one uh, is the forest park. It's, it's nearby, uh, but you can see that it has the walkways uh, that take you kind of into the scenery and in the background on that one, you can see the city in the background. It's not that far from the apartments of uh, the city. Oh, okay. And the next, uh, is, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this and you're one ahead of me here <laughs> to remind me. And because the, these are continuous here, this is like one <laughs> bus trip. <laughs> and so then from that, we went over to uh, Masan to this, the uh, art gallery of a very famous, world famous artist named Moonshin. Uh, sculptor, and so the, and it, it was very avant-garde in the 20s and 30s. He was doing these uh, amazing sculptures. Mm -hmm. Now, if you imagine yourself there and you turn around, you'll see the view from that museum, and it looks across the city of Masan, which is a port city and a shipbuilding city. Toward, uh, you can see in the distance there their own version of the Golden Gate Bridge okay. uh, that crosses the entrance to the harbor. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was a series of things that they did with us on, uh, on one particular day. The next one, uh, next day we uh, got in the bus and we headed north to a famous uh, wetlands called Junam Wetlands, which is a very important bird uh, sanctuary. And, uh, and that, well, I think Jane took that picture mm -hmm. there of the, uh, the lotus, mm -hmm. right? Out of the mud grows the lotus. <laughs> and, uh, we were headed toward a, uh, a, we spent the whole day actually in and around this city of Milian. And uh, one of the interesting uh, uh, things about that that carried through the rest of the day was a visit to, you'll see there's a shrine, there's a, uh, a slide of a shrine. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and it looks like it's a religious shrine, but it's actually a shrine in honor of the man known as the warrior monk. Because hmm. during the Japanese occupation during the 1590s, um, they, uh, they took hostages in some of the cities to keep them under control. And the monk negotiated the release of these 3,000 hostages and to have the, the Japanese withdrawal. And he's called the warrior monk because he also had a force of 600 highly trained monks <laughs> who were ready to go after the Japanese if they didn't go for the diplomacy. So, <laughs> so uh, and then from there, we went on an aerial tramway uh, up into there, uh, some mountains. The mountains there are very similar to our coast range, except that they get a lot more rain and so they're much more wooded, but they're about the same height and so forth. So we went up to what they call Ice Valley and took the aerial tramway up to the top and uh, enjoyed the view. Then we came back down to um, a, a, another historic uh, village because they have several of these villages that are, are maintained the way they were 100 years ago. And we visited this, um, um, let's see, what is it? It's a Confucian school. So it's a school that trained the leaders of the country in Confucian principles uh, that you've heard a lot of uh, uh, over the years. And the, uh, the, the woman in the front of that uh, picture illustrates that we were at every point of our tour uh, greeted by past district governors and their spouses from our sister district. Oh, and nice. so they hosted us, each one in their uh, particular area. And so it was just, it was added something that you're, you're simply not gonna experience in other, any other circumstances uh, but Rotary. And the picture after that has our longtime leader and the creator of this 20 <laughs> year uh, uh, friendship, and that's Chung Sam Do, originally from Korea. And, um, and he's explaining uh, or answering questions about, uh, about it. Uh, next to Chung Sam, there's a, uh, a young woman who was our guide for the day. We also always had a, a guide uh, who was familiar with that area. And she stayed with us to the next picture of this uh, pavilion from the 1300s sitting up on a hilltop. Wow. And in the, in the picture after that, where you can see the pavilion up close, you can see that it doesn't uh, it's not walled in, it's open to the air. And it's where uh, the king or the nobles would sit up on that platform in a cool breeze overlooking the river and they would listen to songs and listen to poets and so forth. And you'll notice that our guide, who previously was in a kind of a hiking outfit, is now in a hanbok, <laughs> traditional Korean dress. And so she took us up onto the platform and reenacted that with songs and music and so forth. Great. Um, the, the next day, we went out to what used to be a, a distant island off the coast, uh, but we got there by way of a new bridge and tunnel system. And because it was an island, it was the site of a uh, prison camp during the Korean War, where uh, North Korean and Chinese prisoners were kept. And it was a, 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 almost not quite shocking, but it was a moving experience because they didn't hold anything back. They, they recreated you know, what it was like, the difficulties on both sides, and so it was very, uh, very instructive. Um, the next one after that uh, is a change of pace. We were, they took us out and put us on a boat, and we went out to this beautiful Camellia Island. Uh, and of course, the picture there, the next picture is of azaleas, not camellias. <laughs> a fully landscaped island, no cars. You went out by boat and you walked uh, the whole thing. And, uh, and it was uh, also a sculpture garden. So every place you went, there were all different styles of sculptures and benches and nooks where you could come and sit down if you wanted to and rest and, and have a cold drink. And speaking of drinks, the, <laughs> at the end one. of that day, coming, <laughs> yeah, coming back to uh, our base, we stopped at this Good Day Museum Good Day Museum, and what it is, it's a manufacturing plant for soju, Korea's <laughs> okay. national drink. 
And uh, so it's just like being in a Coca-Cola bottling plant and so forth. But what's different about it is that it's also the International Liquor Museum. <laughs> and so they had, just like a regular museum, they had corridors and corridors of, uh, of uh, things to drink from all different countries uh, no all around samples, the world. <laughs> no, no free samples, though. No free samples. Well, we had free samples of the soju, <laughs> not, the, not the other ones. Yeah. And they call it the Good Day Museum because in that part of Korea, one of the ways they say cheers is <coughs> Choen Day, Choen Day, which sounds kind of like good day and kind of means, oh, happy day. <laughs> and so uh, that's why they named it that way. <laughs> so, let's see, I, I don't know, I think you're... I think you might be running out of time. Uh, oh, because you can see the clock and I can't. <laughs> so from there, okay, we went over to Busan, Korea's second biggest city. And, um, and I guess I'll, we'll jump to the first one, which has kind of an overview and mm -hmm. this, so on. And just I wanted to get one picture of these towering apartment buildings oh, yes. in Busan. Mm -hmm. I counted the stories in the white buildings in the foreground, and there were 30 stories. Wow. So the ones to the left there are probably... 60 stories, and the ones in the background are probably got to be 90 or 100 stories. They are Im amazing builders. Uh, after that, to go back to the older traditions, we went to a, um, a Buddhist temple called Tongdas, Tongdosa, where we've been before, and I love it. It's on a very human scale. It's very beautiful. Uh, but coincidentally, when we were there, um, there, was, there were people with cameras and microphones and they were doing a documentary on Rotary oh, wow. in Korea. Right. So they wanted to interview me. So there, that's, there's a picture <laughs> so of me. Interview there. Being interview picture. Interviewed. We'll have to get some of the footage of that then. they wanted to get some of these, uh, yeah, the international flavor. Well, uh, I, real quick uh, question because we're kind of running short on time here. Okay. The trip to Korea, uh, in a, just a brief moment, tell us what that was like. You've got 30 seconds to tell us what Korea was like for you. 30 seconds. I love it. I could live there. I think it's a wonderful, uh, orderly country, warm people. Uh, the hospitality is just uh, amazing. It's a very beautiful country. It's very industrial. It's also a very beautiful uh, country. And I think in terms of the, co the convention, for a large city convention, it was one of the best of all the 15 that we've attended. Great, great. Well, thank you both very That's much great. for your time. Uh, <laughs> one outstanding trip. Uh, that's a lot of days and a lot of photos, but thank you for sharing thank that. Um, and with that, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Rotary uh, all around the world has some pretty fascinating areas, and Rotarian is doing a lot of good things. With that, thank you very much for joining us. We will see you next time.